Hello Internet world, I want to start this video off by taking a look at the Roku Stream Bar box. Uh, this lists off some of the main features and this is packed full of features. And then we'll move on to taking a look at the product itself. Uh, first of all, full disclosure, Roku very kindly sent this in free of charge for this video. They haven't asked to pre-approve the video or for me to say anything in particular. Just share with you my experience. And this is a, uh, a 4K streaming uh, premium audio all-in-one product. Very apt description there. It's got a quad-core processor inside. It gives really good quality uh, audio, nice, crisp, clear uh, dialogue, it claims here. And I'll talk to you about the vocal quality or the voice quality very shortly. Easy to set up, works with Google Assistant. Uh, it also supports HD, 4K and HDR and Dolby Audio, Bluetooth as well. Uh, we've also got, uh, obviously, voice control on here as well. And basically, this allows you to gain access to all of these sort of uh, media or entertainment services, including the likes of Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, which is really nice to see on here, uh, Prime Video, something I use regularly, and the Roku channel, something that's often overlooked, but you really shouldn't overlook uh, the Roku channel. There's some great content on there too. If we take a look on the back of the box, it does actually give you this uh, sort of inside view of the product. It shows you the side facing speakers and the front facing speaker as well, which gives a nice wide sound stage in the audio that this delivers. But this isn't just all about audio, it's obviously about video as well. So inside the box, you obviously get the Roku stream bar itself. You get a remote control, we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Uh, we also get an HDMI cable. Uh, this is a, an HDMI ARC product, really. So you're going to use this for the audio return channel as well as the video. And they include an HDMI cable inside the box. If your TV doesn't support HDMI ARC, then there is also an optical cable. I didn't use this during my tests at all. Uh, but this is if uh, you can't use HDMI ARC, you can at least use the optical audio out on your TV uh, to get audio into the Roku stream bar. Uh, we've also got the remote that I mentioned earlier. Roku remotes are really good. One of the best type of remote that's uh, supplied with a, a media player. And uh, more often than not, media players have really bad remote controls, but this is great. It's a proper remote control. We've got volume controls on the side. We've also got the power on off button. And then we've got other controls here for navigating around the menu system, play, pause, etc., searching. And then we've got some direct access buttons here to the likes of Netflix, Google Play, Spotify, and Rakuten TV. I'm not sure if you can do this, uh, but I do wish that these were perhaps reassignable, but I don't think they are. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think they are. And there's a little tab there with the Roku brand. It's just a, a very nice quality remote control. And then let's have a uh, look at the Roku stream bar itself. Uh, from this angle here, you'll see in the top of the device. And then if I show you this angle here, this is where we've got this nice cloth grill. Really very, very high quality. Uh, it feels like a very premium product. Uh, nice way of doing the Roku branding on here because it doesn't sort of uh, stand out too much. Uh, rubberized bottom, so it's gonna stay in place in front of your TV. And this is really designed uh, to go in front of your TV, just underneath the TV. We've got some sort of ventilation here. Uh, we've also got uh, some threaded mounts, so we can actually uh, put this onto a wall mount if we so wish. We've got a power input just here. There is a power supply with both, in my case, it had a, a European uh, and also a UK power cable with the power adapter. It's a multi-voltage power adapter, so you can uh, adapt that to your country-specific plug. Then we've got the optical input uh, for if you're not using HDMI arc. Then we've got the single HDMI port. We've also got USB output, which is useful as well. Uh, and we've also got a reset button. Uh, so really nice looking unit. It's got some substantial weight to it and it feels very, very nicely made. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a plastic cabinet to it, but it does feel like wood. It's got that really nice texture to it, so they've done a really good job on the build quality. When it comes to audio quality, and of course image quality as well, uh, the amount of services that are on here that I listed off earlier, the likes of Netflix, uh, Prime Video, Disney+, Plus, and of course the Roku channel, and lots more besides, allows you to access that content 
with really good video quality with ease on your TV. So it allows you to sort of turn a non-smart TV into a smarter TV. Or indeed, if you've already got a smart TV, it maybe allows you to access some different channels and different streaming services that you haven't already got access to. So good video quality, first of all, and a good selection of content available. But in addition to that, this has got some great speakers inside. Television sets, uh, regardless of how much you spend nowadays, uh, don't often deliver on the audio front. Some very expensive ones do, but more often than not, uh, TV speakers aren't that great. This really does improve the audio. It gives you a nice expansive sound stage thanks to those side speakers, but also the vocal clarity on this is exceptionally good. It certainly makes listening to TV late at night with the volume lower much, much easier because the uh, the vocals or the voices uh, coming out of the uh, coming from the actors that you're watching uh, seem to. Uh, be a lot more focused and it just makes it a lot easier to listen to and then when you're watching something like an action movie as well this really does deliver some some great volume and some great uh, sort of engaging sound so this is the Roku stream bar uh, I think is a really great choice can I recommend it yeah I certainly can it's a good combination of a media streamer player uh, with uh, really good audio thrown in as well that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, there are links down in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. There's also a link under the video to the Roku website, so please do check that out as well. And if you enjoyed my video, please do subscribe to the channel. I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another one very, very soon.